Hello everybody and welcome to English for Arabs channel. English for Arabs is English for all. Unit 12. The right stuff. 1. Stuff. Substance. Things. Rice cooker. An electric pot used to cook rice. Goddess. A female god. You have the word god and this word goddess. A female god. Victory. Success in a battle or competition. Success in battle or competition. Battle. Battle. T, soft D. And I have here T-L-E, make the T soft D. A battle. Victory. Success in a battle or competition. Nest. The place where birds lay the eggs. Nest. The place where birds lay the eggs. Soft drinks, soft drinks, soft drinks such as Pepsi, Cola, 7-Up. Adapter, adapter, a device which is used to connect two pieces of equipment. A device which is used to connect two pieces of equipment. Plug, plug, equipment, equipment, tool. A tool. Two words of exercise number two. American convenient. O as awesome convenient. British convenient. Convenient suitable. Location position. Plenty much. A trendy restaurant. A very modern restaurant. Modern. O as a sound in American R R modern British modern server waiter profitable profitable resulting in a profit acoustics the way in which the structural characteristics of a building or room affect the qualities of musical or spoken sound for clothing boutique Clothing boutique, a store for selling clothes. 5. Industrious, hard working, hard working. Here I can make the G silent say hard working. Industrious, hard working. Slender, thin, persuasive, persuasive, able to influence other people. Persuasive, able to influence other people. Tough, GH as fast sound, tough. Strong, able to deal with difficult conditions. Tough, strong, able to deal with difficult conditions. Affordable, having reasonable price. Having a reasonable price. Entertaining, entertaining, amusing and interesting. Amusing and interesting. Informative, informative. T soft D, informative. Providing useful knowledge or ideas. Providing useful knowledge or ideas. Gorgeous. Pretty. Gorgeous. Pretty. Muscular. Fit. Charming. Attractive. Charming. Attractive. Host. The person giving a party or dinner. 7. Fabulous. Fabulous. Fabulous, excellent, packed, pack, brand new, modern, brand new, modern, and now let's start with the book. Twelve, the right stuff. Unit twelve, the right stuff. Exercise number one. Snapshot. Look at the picture here. This is what? This is a cup. Success stories. Five of the world's most successful businesses 
five of the world's most successful businesses. We have here different companies, and here we have the main products and the fact. So we have five companies. They are they're the best companies all over the world. The most successful companies. One, Coca-Cola. What are the main products of Coca-Cola? Soft drinks, juice, and bottled water. Bottled, American. British, bottled. Bottled water. American, bottled water. So what is the fact about cola or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola is the best known English word in the world after OK. So OK is number one and Coca-Cola is number two. The second company is Sony. Products of Sony, electronics equipment, electronics equipment, movies and TVs. Some early products included tape recorders and rice cookers. Levi. Do you know Levi jeans? Levi stress. Jeans and casual clothing. The first jeans were made for men looking for gold in California. So the first jeans were made for men looking for gold in California. California. This is the word California. But we pronounce in America say Cali. They make it short and they say Cali. Where are you from? I'm from Cali. Cali, California. Google. The products. Internet based products and services. Internet. And we say also in American internet. Internet based products and services. Google comes from Google, which is the math term for the number one followed by 100 zeros. Nestle. The products? Chocolate. An instant coffee and bottled water. Nestle means little nest. Nestle means little nest, which symbolizes, which symbolizes security and family. So the word nest, this is of course the home of the bird. So this is a symbol for security and family. Now which of these products exist in your country? Are they successful? All these products exist in my country and they are very successful. Can you think of three, three successful companies in your country? What do they produce? What do they produce? Different companies are my country. Example, Pepsi, Schweppes, Pepsi is famous for soft drinks, Samsung, Samsung is famous for electronics equipment, electronic equipment and televisions. Press. This recording is copyrighted. CD3 Unit 12 The Right Stuff Page 78 Exercise 2 Perspectives Part A Listen to the survey What makes a business successful? Number the choices from 1 Most important to 3 Least important what makes a business successful? 1. Most important. 2. Somewhat important. 3. Least important. 1. In order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes, a convenient location, inexpensive courses, 2. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have 
plenty of computers, good snacks and drinks, a fast connection. 3. In order to operate a successful movie theater, it has to have the latest movies, good snacks and drinks, big screens. 4. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers, delicious food, good music. 5. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have good trainers, modern exercise equipment, a variety of classes. 6. For a concert hall to be successful, it should have excellent acoustics, comfortable seats, affordable tickets. Exercise number two. Listen to the survey. Survey questionnaire. What makes a business successful? What are the factors of success for a business? Number the choices from one, most important, to three, least important. So number one, here we have different factors and you choose what is the most important and what is the least important. Number one, in order for language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes, variety, variety, different, various classes, different classes. A convenient location, convenient, suitable, good location, good place, inexpensive courses, inexpensive, not expensive, I-N here means not, inexpensive, not expensive, inexpensive courses, not expensive courses. 2. To run a popular internet cafe, internet also we say in American internet to run a popular internet cafe it's a good idea to have to have a good internet cafe a famous internet cafe you need what? plenty of computers plenty or plenty I can make here the T silent because they have N like internet internet so plenty of computers plenty of computers means a lot of computers good snacks and drinks so the snacks light meals fast connection this means high speed of the internet connection fast 3 in order to operate a successful movie theater a movie theater cinema it has to have so in order to operate to run to run a successful movie theater, you need what? The latest movies, good snacks and drinks, big screens. So here we choose which one is number one, which one is number two, which one is number three, which one is most important, which one is more important, and which one is least important. Of course here, the answer is going to be different from one student to another. Four, to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have. To have a good restaurant, you need what? Fashionable servers, so the waiters should be fashionable, fashionable waiters, delicious food, good music. Five, for an athletic center to be profitable. Profitable, you earn a lot of money. It needs to have good trainers, more in exercise equipment, a variety of classes. Variety of classes, different classes. I mean classes in the morning, classes in the afternoon, classes in the evening, classes at night, classes for boys, classes for senior citizens over six years old. Classes for senior citizens. Six. For a concert hall to be successful, it should have. A concert hall, this is a place to have parties for a concert hall you need excellent acoustics 
related to the equipment, the sound equipment. Comfortable seats, very comfortable seats, good chairs, affordable texts. So here, this is the answer is going to be different from one student to another. B. Group work. Compare your answers. Do you agree on the most important success factors? So here we ask every student, like number one, in order for language school to succeed, it has to have variety of classes, convenient location, and expensive courses. So number one, I think this is number one, the most important, a convenient location. Number two, in Egypt here, of course, a variety of classes. And number three, number three inexpensive courses. Because we have very, very, very expensive schools. You pay by dollars. So, but the location and the classes are the most important. They should be, the, these schools should be near houses and it has variety of classes. They have IG, American Diploma. Exercise number three, pronunciation. Page 79, exercise three, pronunciation. Reduced words. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how certain words are reduced in conversation. In order for a cafe to succeed, it needs to have good food and service. For an airline to be successful, it has to maintain a good safety record. In order for a cafe to succeed, it needs to have good food and service. For an airline to be successful, it has to maintain a good safety record. Exercise number three, pronunciation, reduced words. So here in this exercise, we're going to have some reductions. Reductions, abbreviations, such as for, to, n, and n. Here, n. So we omit most of time a. We reduce. For example, in order for a cafe. In order for a cafe. So here we don't say in order for a cafe. No. We reduce a. We reduce the o sound. The o. So for becomes for. In order for a cafe. In order for a cafe to succeed. The t o t. We say t t to succeed. In order for a cafe to succeed, it needs to have. It needs to have good food and service. Here, this is and. But we we'll pronounce it N in American, we omit A and D. We say, in order for a cafe to succeed, it needs to have good food and service. Here we have N, we omit A for N, for an airline. For an airline to be successful, it has to maintain good safety record. It has to maintain good, good safety record. You will have all of these reductions in lecture number five, reduced sounds in American accent course. Lecture number five. You will have all kinds of reduced sounds. You will have the link in the description of this video. Exercise number four, grammar focus. Here, describing purpose. To describe purpose, we would like to tell something. To do something, the purpose, the goal. The reason for doing something. Page 79, exercise four, grammar focus. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. 
To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have plenty of computers. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with for. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a language school to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. Describing purposes. Infinitive clause. So here we're going to use infinitive. Infinitive, it means the main verb. To plus the infinitive. So to run, to establish, in order to. So I can say to or in order to plus infinitive. Run, establish. And the second sentence, it's a good idea to, it's important to, plus infinitive. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have plenty of computers. So to run, to, plus infinitive. First sentence, second sentence, it's a good idea to, it's important to. I can say also, in order to, in order to. In order to plus infinitive, comma, the second sentence. Infinitive clause, infinitive clause with four. So after two, we put infinitive. But after four, we need a noun. Four plus a noun. In order for plus a noun. For an acyclic center. In order for language school. To, to be, succeed. Two plus infinitive. Comma, and the second sentence. For an acyclic center to be, to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. In order for language school to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. Okay, so let's look at the infinitive. Now, if we remember, an infinitive is to and a verb. To and a verb. Now, remember that the verb in the infinitive is in the base form. And the base form means there's no future, no past, and no third person S. So you do not conjugate the verb in the infinitive. It's in the base form, non-conjugated. Now, the infinitive often explains what or how in a sentence. Let's look at an example. So, if I think I want my business, and what? What do I want from my business? Right? Now, I'm going to use the infinitive to describe what is it that I want. So, I'm going to think, well, like any business, I want my business to succeed. So, using the infinitive to and the base form succeed, I'm, I'm describing what I want. I want my business to succeed. So the infinitive often tells us what or how. So for example, if I think, well, I want my business to succeed, but how am I going to do this? Again, I'm going to use an infinitive and I'm going to say, well, to succeed and then I'm going to give different ways that I can succeed. Okay. So I'm using that infinitive to describe how, or to begin a sentence on how to do something. Now, I can use a longer s phrase and say, in order to succeed. Now, it's common to use this, but if you want, it's an option. I do not, I do not need to use the full phrase, in order to, and then my verb. I can just use the infinitive and say, to succeed. But I'm going to leave it there so we can see it. So again, the infinitive to describe how. So in order to succeed or to succeed, I need what? Or I have what? Or I should start what? Or I want what? So again, these verbs, for example, need 
and have and start and want, these verbs are commonly followed by the infinitive because I need to know what. What do I need? What do I have? What do I start? And what do I want? And so I'm going to use the infinitive. And if we remember, any important part of a business is advertising. So in order to succeed, I need to advertise creatively. Or to succeed, I have to advertise creatively. Or in order to succeed, I should start to advertise creatively. Or to succeed, I want to advertise creatively. So these verbs are almost always followed by the infinitive because we need to describe what. What do I want? What do I start? What do I have? Or what do I need? So the infinitive describe what. Again, let's look at another verb that we often use with the infinitive. And that's the verb be. So if I think, in order to succeed, it is important, or it is a good idea, or it is smart, and then again, what? What am I talking about? And again, I'm going to use the infinitive. So in order to succeed, it is important to advertise creatively. Or it is a good idea to advertise creatively. Or to succeed, it is smart to advertise creatively. And again, I'm using the infinitive with the verb to be. It is important. It is a good idea. And it is smart to advertise creatively. Now, let's look at a few different examples. For example, if I want to think how, again, I use my infinitive. So, to succeed in business or in order to succeed in business, and that's the infinitive to describe how. So I'm starting my sentence with how. To succeed in business, you need, or it's important, to advertise. And that's describing what. Again, there's my verb need, which I often use with the infinitive. And there's my verb to be, which I also use with the infinitive. So in order to succeed in business, you need to advertise. Or, to succeed in business, it's important to advertise. So again, using the infinitive to describe how and what. Now, let's look at another example um, for how. For example, when I used the infinitive to describe how, I can also use the word for to describe how. But for is a little bit special because I need to talk about specifically what. So for example, for a business. For a business, what? And then I'm going to use the infinitive to describe what. So for a business to succeed, and again, it has, or it's a good idea, and the infinitive. It has to advertise. It's a good idea to advertise, and again, there's that verb, have, and I use that often to describe with the infinitive what. Uh, it has to advertise. Or it's a good idea. For example, there's my verb to be, which I often use with the infinitive. Now, again, just like when I used to to describe how, I can use for to describe how, and I can use a longer phrase. I can say, in order for a business to succeed, or I can choose to not use it and just say for a business to succeed. So both are okay. So this was to explain the different ways that we use the infinitive, not only to talk about how we do something, but to talk about specifically what we are talking about. So it's important to know which verbs we use with the infinitive and in what types of situations we use the infinitive. So I hope this was helpful, and good luck with the rest of your grammar. Bye. A. Match each goal with suggestion. Then practice the sentences with a partner. Of your goals, suggestions. So match. Column A, group A with group B. Goals, suggestions. Number one. For a health club to attract new people. E, 1E. It has to offer the latest equipment. 
So number one, E. For Heresy Club to attract new people, it has to offer the latest equipment. Two. In order to run a profitable restaurant, A. You need to hire a talented chef. In order to run a profitable restaurant, you need to hire a talented chef. 3. To establish a successful dance club, it needs to have great music and lighting. To establish a successful dance club, it needs to have great music and lighting. 4. For a coffee bar to succeed, it's a good idea to offer desserts too. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. So number 4, B. 5. To run a successful clothing boutique. C. You need to keep up with the latest styles. So number 5, C. Again the answers. Number 1, E. Number 2, a. Number 3. D. Number 4. B. Number 5. C. B. Pair work. Give another suggestion for each goal in part A. So here in this exercise, you're going to say, for health club to attract new people, this is number 1. E. It has to offer the latest equipment. You will add more suggestions. For a healthy club to attract new people, it has to have a good trainer. It has to have a professional coach. For a health club to attract new people, it has to have good location. Number C. Group work. Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay in business, what should be done? So, this is a coffee shop. Look at the picture here. And you see here a young lady. What's she doing now? She's reading. A man in his writing. This is the waiter. He's making coffee. He's making drinks. And there is a line in front of, in front of the man. People are bored. They're angry. Someone is looking at his watch. So, they want to say, we waste our time. We need fast service. So here, for this coffee shop to stay in business, it needs, it needs more waiters. For this coffee shop to stay in business, it needs more waiters. For this coffee shop to stay in business, it needs. It needs more workers. Exercise 5. Word Power. Qualities for Success. A. Pair Work. What qualities are important for success? Rank them from 1 to 5. So in this exercise, we have different qualities for different jobs. We try to put them from order 1, the most important, 5, least important. A model. Look at the picture here. A young man and he is a model. Model. A model. British model. Should be fashionable. Wear fashionable clothes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very pretty. Very beautiful. Industrious. Industrious. Hard working. Muscular, for a model, if he is a man, needs to be muscular, fat. Slender, slender, slim. A salesperson, clever, charming, 
knowledgeable, persuasive, tough. Persuasive can persuade you, convince you to buy something. Tough, strong. So a salesperson needs to, do, to be what? Number one, to be persuasive. Two, knowledgeable. Three, clever. Four, charming. Five, tough. So, of course, here the answer is going to be different. Number three, a magazine. A magazine, affordable, people can buy it, attractive. A magazine should have attractive topics, inter entertaining, to entertain the readers, informative, it has a lot of information, well written, good way of writing. So you can put them from one to five. B, group work. Add one more adjective to each list. So here, you will put for every job or every list another adjective. Example, for a model, for a model to be successful, he or she needs to be. For a model to be successful, he or she needs to be to be attractive. Exercise number six, rule play. You're hired. You're hired. Student A, interview two people for one of these jobs. What qualities do they need for success? Decide who is more qualified for the job. So in this exercise, you're gonna be an interviewer. You will ask other students about the qualities and are they can and can they have the job or not student B and C students B and C you're applying for the same job what are your best qualities convince the interviewer convince the interviewer that you're more qualified than the for the job than the others the jobs are host for a political talk show, host. Host, this is like interviewer for political talk show. Server at a trendy cafe. Exercise equipment salesperson. So A, to be a good host for a political talk show, you need to be knowledgeable. Are you? Yes, I follow politics closely. I am also tough. I am not afraid to ask hard questions. Hard questions, difficult questions. C. I'm fascinated by politics and I'm mysterious. So I would do I would do through research. So this of course will play you and your friends gonna do this conversation together. Exercise number seven, conversation. I thought, I thought you'd never ask. Here, look at the picture. What do you see? This is like a nightclub. People are dancing. They are very happy. Someone is singing. You see here, a lot of lights and visual FX yeah like laser beams page 80 exercise 7 conversation I thought you'd never ask part A listen and practice what's your favorite club Ben the soul club they have fabulous music and it's never crowded so it's easy to get in that's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. 
Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. So here, this is a conversation between two. What's your favorite club, Ben? Favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music. Fabulous, wonderful music. And it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. It's not crowded. So it's easy to get in. It's easy to have a seat. And get inside it. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it all, it's always packed. It's always packed. It's always crowded. It has a lot of people. It has a lot of customers. It has a lot of customers. Why do you think it's so popular? Why do you think this place, this club, is so famous and popular? A lot of people like to get in. Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new. Everything is brand new and modern. Everything is new and modern. It's not old. And lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. The Casablanca? This is the name of the club. Oh, right. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? Would you like to go to this club? I thought you'd never ask. So, what is the favorite club for Mr. Ben? The Soul Club. What is the Soul Club like? What's it like? It's a wonderful club. It has fabulous music and it's never crowded. It's easy to get in. What is the, what is the favorite club for Mayumi? The Casablanca. What is the Casablanca like? It's crowded. There's always a long wait outside. It's always packed. Why is it packed? Why is it so popular? Cause it's open. Cause it's open a few months ago. Cause? Because. It opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. Everything is brand new and modern. And lots of fashionable people go there. Number B. What are some popular places in your city? Now, this question you're going to answer by yourself. What are some famous places in your city? In Egypt here, we have a lot of popular places, such as the pyramids, the Sphinx, the Egyptian Museum, the Lahiddin Castle, Hurghada, Sharm el-Sheikh, Martha Matruh. So we have a lot of places. Do you ever go to, do you ever go to any of these places? Why or why not? Yes, I went to different places in Egypt. They are all wonderful and great. I like Egypt very much. Because the weather is wonderful. It's fine all the year. And the summer resorts such as Hurghada and Sharm el-Sheikh are really fantastic. That's the end of unit number 12, part 1. Now, let's get the homework. Number 1, keep the words by heart. 2, listen and repeat. 3, answer 3 pages of the workbook. Interchange 3, unit 12. The first 3 pages. 4, go to www. Cambridge.org slash interchangerkid slash 
you will have more questions and exercises. Five. Watch the video of Mr. Kyle Brelson. It's really amazing. Wish you all good luck. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like it, share it and subscribe.